Hey guys, in this video I wanted to do another Free Surfer video, which I haven't done in a while. So I wanted to do this tutorial on control point editing, which is one of the manual steps in the process of analyzing Free Surfer output. So basically when you run Auto Recon All All from Free Surfer, it will automatically produce these two boundaries for all your subjects that you run. And the red border, it's basically the peel boundary. So it's basically saying this is the boundary of the brain and anything outside of that line is non-brain tissue. And then it also produces this blue boundary, which is the white matter boundary. And so after you run Auto Recon All All, you want to go back in for all of your subjects and do manual corrections. The first manual correction you should do is peel editing. So you first want to edit and make sure that the peel boundary, the red boundary, is correct. And then after you're finished manually correcting the peel boundary, you want to go in and change and manually correct the blue white matter boundary if it's incorrect. So the first thing that I do after doing my peel edits is this control point editing, which is it's a method of intensity normalization, but it's one way of correcting the blue white matter boundary. And I'm going to show you basically how it works. And I'll put a link in the description box below for this website, which I'm basically just going to be following the Free Surfer official tutorial. And for this video, I have two folders in my subjects folder. I'm going to do the demo on subject 1715 in my subjects folder. And and I have basically the fully completed with all peel edits and all control point edits folder. And I have the original folder that doesn't have any manual edits. So unfortunately, I didn't keep the peel edited folder. I'm going to show the tutorial demonstration on the unedited file and then I'll show the completed file. So what I think it should look like at the end. So I'm basically just going to run this code. If you copy this code and then just put in instead of CP underscore before, if you put in the name of your subjects folder that's in your free surfer folder that will open up the brain that you want to edit in Freeview. so i have that code copied here with my correct folder named subject 1715 and i'm going to run that in a terminal window and that will open up Freeview. so that took a minute to load and it loads in the brain mask again you should be loading in the brain mask that has already had the peel edits corrected so this brain does not this is the original brain and it was not peel edited already so I'm just going to pretend that it was for the purpose of the video and it also loads in the boundaries so for each hemisphere it does a separate boundary so this is the right peel boundary the red line on the right hemisphere this is the white matter boundary on the right hemisphere and it does the same thing for the left hemisphere so once you have this loaded in you're going to want to go to file new point set and basically you want to create what's a text file that's going to have all the control points that you add to your brain so it's going to ask you to enter the name of new point set the tutorial says to name it control dot dat but I don't think it really matters what you call it and then you want to call it control points which is the default and this will always be selected as brain mask if you load this incorrectly so then I'm going to click OK once you do that you're going to have this new control dot dat file and it's automatically going to set the free view editor in point set edit. So this means that now if you start clicking, you will be adding control points to your brain. So just to do a little demonstration, once you start clicking around, it will add these green dots as long as you're in the correct tool. And what this means, what the control points mean, is that basically you're adding points where you think that there should be white matter and it's not being caught in the blue outline. And basically for control point editing, what you want to do is find places where the blue boundary did not capture white matter that you believe should be classified as white matter, and you're going to add points to it. So let me look around a couple slices to try to find good examples of where you should add control points. And basically what that does, after you add the control points and you save them, you're going to rerun recon all. And what should happen is that the blue boundary will get expanded at the points where you select. And in addition to expanding the blue boundary it will also sometimes expand the red boundary as well since there has to be a certain amount of distance between the blue and the red so this is a way of correcting for areas that have not been correctly labeled common areas where there are mistakes in the white matter boundaries are the temporal lobes and also the inferior frontal lobes so those are the areas I'm going to check first
So here, for example, if I look at the inferior frontal lobe, it seems like it's not completely capturing. It's not doing a horrible job here, but it might not be extending far south enough into the inferior portion of the brain. So I could do some dots there, for example, maybe a dot there. I'm going to add a dot there. Basically, the way I check is I will toggle on and off the white matter boundary a lot to see and make sure that I'm getting white matter. And it seems like in here as well, the white matter is not being picked up completely. So I just add a couple points. You basically add as many points as you want. Certain things to keep in mind. If you click, that will add a dot. If you do shift click, that will erase a dot. You can also click and hold down and drag a dot around. Another way of erasing dots is to just do command Z if you want to undo the last command you did. This area here is an example where if I extend the white matter boundary, the peel boundary probably will also get extended. So I can put some white matter points there. And you basically want to check this slice by slice, just like you would do the manual peel edits as well. Another thing to keep in mind when you're doing these edits is when you place a dot, since what you're doing is intensity normalization, what you're really saying essentially is that that color of that voxel or pixel should be considered white matter. So one thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing these edits and saying that this is white matter, for example, what FreeSurfer is going to do is it's going to check all voxels with that same intensity and change that intensity to white matter. So you can make an edit in one location, but because it's checking the intensity throughout the brain, it can actually affect other areas. So you just want to make sure that you know when you're clicking that you want that intensity of the voxel that you're clicking to be labeled white matter. So when you're done making control point edits, which I don't want to completely do this brain since this is just a demonstration, you want to save the control.dat file that you created that has all your points correctly labeled on the brain. So you're going to go to file, save point, set, and you want to make sure that the control.dat file that you want to save is in the correct folder. FreeSurfer will only check for this folder in the temp folder of the subject. So actually, I found that in Ubuntu, and I think also on my Mac that I'm on right now, the default folder location is actually incorrect. So you have to manually make sure that the control.dat file is in the correct folder. So you want to go to the subjects folder in your free surfers folder, CD into the exact subject that you're working on, and then every subject will have what's called a temp folder. And you want to make sure you save control.dat into the temp folder. So let me try to find it here. I'm going to go to my free surfers folder. Then I'm going to go to my subjects folder. I'm working on subject 1715. And then there's a temp folder that has this file always. And that's where you want to save control.dat. As long as you save it there correctly, you can save and then exit and then run auto recon all again, which is this command given in the tutorial. And you just want to make sure that you change the subjects folder. So for me, the command would be this. It's recon all, auto recon two, control points, auto recon three. So basically it says do stage two at control point editing and do stage three afterwards for subject 1715. I'm also going to load in the fully edited and finished manually corrected subject folder for the same subject. So I saved that folder as subject 1715 underscore peel final so that has all the peel edits and CP final so that has all the control point editing done as well so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it so that free view pops up
Okay, so that took a minute to load and this is the fully corrected with peel edits and control point edited brain. So now if you run the auto recon stage again, after you did the control point editing, you should be able to see that there are new white matter blue boundaries that are extended beyond the control points that you added. And that will also sometimes extend the red peel matter boundary as well, depending on where you put the control points. So I'm just checking, for example, the inferior load that did not extend enough previously and you can see that the white matter boundary and the peel boundary as well are extended further than they were before so you can actually check this by loading in the control points as well and seeing that the boundaries are beyond the points that you added and that's all I wanted to show in this video and thank you guys for watching